What's up, YouTube? Big Dog Dave. So we're about to rip into this box and hope to God it is what it's supposed to be. Uh, this thing, I don't know what the fuck they did, but they couldn't read the label. So they got relabeled. They got relabeled. And it got delayed and delayed. And it's not the most secure box in the world, so... <laughs> I don't know how it opens. Maybe it is more secure than I think. I don't know. I could just be cutting random spots for the hell of it. Um, it's good to see that they use a lot of tape when they ship stuff. Uh, so this is a BGS return. Um, it's my first BGS return. It might be my last. I'm just... It, it, such a process. Like, when I... So I sent this in April. It's August 18th. They got it like April 11th and at the time it was 45 to 60 business days so I figured you know at worst case sometime in June maybe July I get it back nope turns out 60 plus days like a few days later and mine somehow ended up being one of those and here we are that was like the least of it now I'm happy with the grades so I, I don't know it's just the way it shipped back and that it almost I, I didn't know if I was gonna get it I don't know it's just very weird situation so let's see where we start okay so this is a nine. Oh man so this is an older card I got this for free uh, I'm not gonna say where uh, for various reasons we're never using this box again so we might as well just take it apart uh this is the only i think the only sports card in the entire one in the entire grading process but it was it came back a uh bgs9 see it's all you gotta do better look at this shit on the fucking case it's a brand new grade and the case is all fucked up I have to try to Windex that off. Uh, this is this is it's just poor quality. Like you put it in a bag, it gets tossed around all over the place. You don't tape the fucking box shut. Oh fucking Christ! So now I gotta try to fucking clean this so that I can sell it because that's what it's here for. But it is a BGS nine. Thank you Beckett for fucking scuffing up the case. You fucks. Hopefully the case cleans. I'm just so mad. Like, I, I've been waiting months for this fucking thing. And I'm going to get my, the first one I pull out is all fucking like, it looks like someone stepped on it. Like, it looks like a fucking shoe print. Just fucking ridiculous. I don't know. All right, so this is a... Base set, Alakazam. Oh, at least this one's better. This one doesn't look like someone stepped on it. I mean, there's stuff they do that I like. And then it's just like, there's other stuff. It's like, do you even fucking care? But whatever. So I like how the card inside there is encased in a plastic sleeve, which PSA doesn't do, I don't think. Which I think they should do. So it doesn't shake around and it's, you know, it's where it's at. Well, this got a 9. I got, uh, it says 8.5 for surface, which is possible. I don't, <laughs> it, it, the corners look good to me. The centering and the edges look good. The surface, I looked at it, it didn't look too bad, so I took a shot on it. Even though, I mean, now it looks worse, but I don't, again, I don't know. I don't think that's the car. I don't know. Is that the case or is that the card? Is it both? I like I have no idea. I'm so so everly so annoyed by them right now. Serena from Silver Tempest got a 9.5. 
We still got nine on centering, but nine five, nine five, and ten on corners. The card's not even straight in there. Um, left, right, little off on centering, potentially. I'm tempted to crack that and send it to PSA at this point. Especially if I can't clean the surface of the uh, case. Excuse me. I don't even know if PSA grades those, though. That was the problem. That's why I sent that to Beckett in the first place. It's got a 9.5. Centering, again, got a 9. I guess I'm just off with my centering. I thought I was better with it, but uh, corners and edges are perfect. And surface got a I know there's another nine coming up that I'm not super excited about, but that was clear cut my mistake. And I knew it when I sent it. There we go. 9.5 Oltart Charizard. So this one got nine on corners. So the centering was good, the edges were good, and the surface, which is a lot of surface. But uh, you can see the corner up there a little bit. What the fuck is on this fucking case? I shouldn't even be putting it into these, but I gotta... This is what happens when you don't tape the box shut so fucking dirt and grime can get inside the fucking box. Fucking Christ. Not even that picky. It's just like... I expect clean shit to come back when it's been fucking there for goddamn months. Instead of getting these bags, get the fucking bags that you seal, don't... You're Beckett, you sell these things! You sell these! <laughs> Charizard got a 10. The shiny vault. Uh, I was off on centering. And I'm guessing it was close. That looks beautiful. Again, case has... Random fucking scuff marks on it. <sighs> fucking Christ. You sell these sleeves. Put them in these. Seal it. And this way it keeps it protected. You sell them. I was worried about this one. This one scared me the most when I sent it in. Uh, the centering is off a little bit, but I didn't know how much. Uh, the edges, I don't think I was worried about. It was more the centering and the surface I was worried about. Uh, and obviously the surface turned out to be fine. But it's because I, I did get the card from somebody. I got it for a great deal, I think. And uh, I'm super happy that it came back. At least a 9.5. I mean, I was expecting like a 7 or something like that when I sent it out. I was just like, ah. But, uh. That's fucking awesome. Again, look at, like, I don't know how this happens. Like, clean your wheels or something. Like, I don't know how you get that on the fucking back. But.
Don't worry. I'll clean my freshly fucking graded cards so that they look good and put them in new new bags that I got from Beckett that you guys sell but don't fucking use. Don't don't worry about it, Beckett. I got you. So far, and I can't stand them anymore. CGC was good and SGC is great with and super clear when I got theirs back. We'll see what PSA does, and then we'll decide where cards might be going. I mean, Pokemon's probably going to go to PSA. Here's the, uh, another 10 I got. The Arceus uh, Galarian Gallery from Crown Zenith. Now the other, so, let me uh, sleeve this first. But this was almost perfect. Centering was just off, it looks like. And I mean, maybe. <laughs> just don't know. So to compare it, because I got another one graded, and that one came back at nine. So we'll see. Again, it was 10, 10, 10, and then I got 8.5 on centering. I knew centering was a little off, I think. I don't realize, I don't think I realized it was that off. On the back, you can definitely see it. On the front, not so much, I don't think. I could be wrong. I, well, I'll put them next to each other. By the way, I think the, the 9 Arceus might be the cleanest holder. In case you were wondering. I mean, it's going to be tough to see. I don't have the best angles. You can see it's off. There are certain little points I try to look for and see how close certain things are. I think it's the top, bottom, and left and right. So and you can see it better on the back where the left, right is really off and the top, bottom kind of is also. Then the last card was from Hidden Fates. It's uh, Jesse and James. That also got a 9.5. So I was really happy with the grades. It's just... Like... Use something else. Is that from the paper? I mean, it's in a bag. So now I gotta fucking figure out how to clean the surface off? Like, that should not, not, should not be happening. On cards I'm getting back brand new from fucking grading. Shouldn't it look like they've been fucking sitting in, under some kid's bed for six years? Like, that's just, that's terrible. You get re so I'm supposed to send it back in to get reholdered and pay another fifteen? Is that what you're saying? Like, fuck you! Like that that see that's what pisses me off about it. Like, and I don't know if I I, I don't want to send it back because it took fucking. Huh. Oh man, four fucking months to get back. Like, I don't want to send it back out there so that even if it was free for you to reholder it so I could get it back in four months from now. Like, that's just not fucking happening. So needless to say, I'm not super happy with Beckett right now. Uh, <laughs> I think anybody could tell that. So I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, if Beckett's even in the mix anymore or what I'm going to do. But now i got to figure out how to clean those fucking cards or the surface. If anybody knows how to do it, I'm going to sing like a... Uh, the, the the cloth you use to clean your glasses and maybe a little spray or something. But somebody let me know. I do have that cloth right here. So I might try that out on it. And uh, we'll see from there. Because I'm super pissed about that. Like, that pisses me off more than anything. I don't even mind the weight. But to get fucking graded cards back that should be in crystal clear cases and have fucking look like someone stepped all over them 
Like, that's a kick in my balls. Like, go fuck yourself. Fuck you.